Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to talk about the first preview for Tiny CLR. Tiny CLR is GHI Electronics take on .NET Micro Framework, or NetMF for short. That's, we took .NET Micro Framework version 4.4 with latest uh, updates, everything available online, and we, um, we started with that, and then we are pushing this into the future, and we're naming this Tiny CLR. We're making all kinds of changes, and today we have the first public release so you can try it out. This is not a beta, it's just a, an early release, so you can try it out to get a feel of what TinyCLR is about. First of all, TinyCLR requires Visual Studio 2017 release candidate. Since this is built for the future, um, very soon Visual Studio 2017 will be, uh, re uh, will be released, and we wanted you to use the latest and greatest. So we went, jumped right into Visual Studio 2017, so make sure you have the Visual Studio 2017 release candidate before you start trying out uh, TinyCLR. Um, TinyCLR started with NetMF 4.4, by the way, if you know what that is. It's the very latest version for .NET Micro Framework. And there are actually uh, improvements that were added to version 4.4. After 4.4 was released, we also pulled that in. So everything that is available as far as bug fixes and features, we took that in and we started with that. Um, so what, what is really different between TinyCLR and .NET Micro Framework? Well, first thing you will notice, there's really no SDK. What you're getting from us is a simple extension, very small, that you can click to run to install on uh, Visual Studio. This extension will add the debugging and the, the mechanism needed to connect the hardware to like the board you'll be getting from us or your own board, and that how would that connect over USB or over serial port to your uh, to your computer to Visual Studio? So that's all the extension does. It's the the uh, the protocol. It's the the way uh, the um, the communication happen between the hardware and your development uh, PC. Now this tiny CLR extension only adds the mechanism we talked about earlier. It doesn't add any libraries, and that is fantastic. Why? Every time we release a library, you really do not need to download the new SDK. What if also, what if you have multiple devices that use different versions, and you want different versions installed on your PC? This cannot be done easily today. Uh, or in the past with uh, .NET Micro Framework, but now this is not an issue at all because your project can use specific libraries, specific library versions for the product or the board you are using. Now, how do these libraries come into your project? They, are, they come in through a thing called Nougat. If you know Nougat, you probably love it. If you don't know Nougat, it's a way to manage what libraries are included in your system. Uh, there is a, a Nougat uh, repository, a place on the web, in the cloud, where uh, you can download the latest version of specific libraries. So when we push version 1.1, you can automatically go on the project and just update to 1.1 or keep 1.0 or go back or go, go forth. It's really up to you which version you would use. Now for this very early version, we have not uploaded our Nougat packages onto Nougat because this, again, this is too early of a release. We don't want these to be used in the future. This is just for you to try it out. So what we're giving you are the Nougat packages that you can host locally. That's another beautiful thing about Nougat, which is um, natively supported through Visual Studio. You can add a folder on your PC, then you can add the packages in that folder. In Visual Studio, you can point at that folder as your own Nougat uh, host. And from there, you can fetch these libraries. Now, what libraries are available today in this early release? We have GPIO. We have all the basics, basically. Uh, if you're using like something like um, G30, you have everything on there. Uh, because that's all it has. Uh, we have GPIO, uh, SPI, I squared C, uh, UART, uh, there may be more, um, uh, yeah, analog, uh, PWM. So you can really get involved and in, in, in build 
projects with what we are giving you today. Again, don't use this in production. This is for you to try it out and provide all the feedback, please. Uh, we actually have a really nice demo that we also want to share with you. Um, we, it's basically a shield that we get from SparkFun that um, there is a chipset on there, give you levels of different frequencies coming into like an audio input. And we take that audio, we make some LEDs dance to those uh, levels on to the different frequencies. We'll show you the demo right now. Hopefully you like it. Now, we're not stopping here. We, um, we still have to give you a new config tool to upload the firmware, something really nice so you can get the firmware from the website. Um, there is, for example, how do you know which firmware is compatible with which libraries? We are following versioning standard and we will document this. So you can, without asking anybody, look at the version number of the library and the firmware and quickly determine that those are compatible or not if you need to upgrade uh, your firmware, uh, for example. Another really great thing that is available today, we are switching to using the Roslyn compiler. This is the new compiler uh, that was not used before. So by doing this switch, you automatically get C Sharp 6 and C Sharp 7 features. So everything you want is in there, except generics. We are working on that. I am not making any promises right now on a tech talk, but generics, we know you like it. We know you want generics and we are looking into it. I, trust me. And uh, we are still looking into graphics, networking, file system. There are like big features that are, we are still working on. Right now we are working more on the, the, uh, the skeleton, on the basis of what Tiny CLR is in the future. And again, we want your feedback. Tell us what you think about Tiny CLR. If you want anything done differently, um, you have any suggestions on, on, on how you think it's, uh, it should be done or what changes we need to make. Or if you want to help, please let us know how you can help. Um, there is another tech talk coming that you're going to really, really enjoy that talks about the other side of Tiny CLR the firmware side. And I promise you're going to enjoy that, but we'll save that for later. For now, I need you to go download TinyCLR, try it out, and come back and give us some feedback. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.